Glad you can be here. We are joined, as always, by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes Rustico, two locations, Alexandria and Boston, also Red Apron at Union Market in Penn Quarter next to the Partisan, That's right. and down in Merrifield next to the B-Side. Greg, it is always good to see you. Good to see you. What do we have on tap this week? This week we have a local beer that I am loving more and more every time I taste it. Um, the brewery is Union Craft Brewing, um, and they are from Baltimore, Maryland. They are in the uh, Woodbury neighborhood of Baltimore, uh, right on the Jones Falls River there. And Union's been around, uh, incorporated in 2011. They've been brewing since 2012. Uh, they're great guys, Kevin Adam and John up there make really fantastic stuff. And as with all new breweries, you know, the more beer they make, the better it gets. They tweak, you learn, you, you, you just get better and better. And their beers have been uh, just really, really, really amazing uh, recently. Uh, and for the summertime, they have a nice little seasonal for us. This is their Goza, uh, based on the classic uh, German style uh, of sour wheat beer that's got a little bit of salt, a little bit of coriander. Uh, low alcohol, typically. This one's about 4.2%. That was great. A little bit of a kind of peach citrus note in the nose, a little spice coriander, a little salt, brine, saline. That is good. Pretty, pretty. And different and good. Tight um, and full um, acidity on the palate. So nice and tart, refreshing for the warm weather that's uh, upon us finally. Um, and just a, a delicious, refreshing summer beer that conveniently comes in a can as well from our neighbors to the north. To stash in, uh, well, I mean, to put in your cooler. Yes, right. Uh, so they're new, I mean, relatively new. Yeah, and I mean, they, they, three years they, old now. they came right out of the gate with cans? Uh, I think they came out of the gate with some kegs and then cans followed shortly thereafter. Okay. Uh, it was always part of their program. You know, Duck Pin Pale Ale is a uh, beer that you see around a lot from them. Um, Balt Alt, which is a really cool kind of alt beer. American style alt beer is delicious. And they've been brewing like, you know, one-off batches of the Goza uh, from the early days. And, you know, it's just like, it just, like I said, it just keeps getting more delicious every time. So this is a fantastic, fantastic beer to have um, available all summer long, you know? So for sour heads out there, pick up a six pack of these Goza, it's all around us. And uh, great price, a delicious beer, great for your summer parties and stuff like that. I love the artwork on the can. Really great. And, uh, you know, they, it says right here, a touch of tart, and, and they're right. It's, it's just a touch, and it's, 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 it's okay, they're, oh, yeah, it's 4.2. Yeah, low right. ABV. Old pro. Crush Take, him. Takes some of that out on the golf course. That's right, yeah. Um, so, I mean, That's really cool, really cool beer, indeed. The Baltimore, I mean, I don't know that everyone thinks about Baltimore all the time, but you have... Um, Brewer's Art. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Got it. Uh, Oliver's yeah. uh, Ale House, uh, Pratt Street. They're building, they got a new brewery. Great um, beers, great yeah, beers delicious. out of Baltimore, as, yeah. as you would expect. It's kind of cool, because you know what Baltimore's always had? Well, I, we just always talked about, like, um, you know, Wharf Rat, which kind of morphed into Oliver Ale's, Pratt Street Ale House, known for classic British-style beers. Brewer's Art, been around for a long time, known for classic Belgian style beers. And unfortunately gone now, there's uh, De Groen's beer from um, the Balt I think it was Baltimore Beer Company. Um, uh, used to kind of specialize in delicious German style beer. So there's kind of classic breweries. De Groen's is gone, Brewers Art and Oliver's still there. Um, it's kind of fun now to have a new brewery that's not necessarily dedicated to one um, style as much. They're really making lots of different things, which is really fun. They do some cool old school German styles. and. Uh, so it's, 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 it's a cool addition to the scene for sure. You mentioned that they've, they've only been around since 2012. Yep. And, we, and we've talked about this over the years, uh, about distributing and how it can take a while for beers to get in certain places, but Baltimore is 45 miles up the road. Mm -hmm. Is there, is it just the distributor that they're dealing with or is there other governmental red tape? Because I know Three Stars just had a launch party for Maryland. They're now, their Correct. beers are now in Maryland. Correct, yeah. So it's a lot of things go into these decisions. I mean, for instance, Blue Jacket here, we, 
brewed way more beer the first year than we thought we were going to have to because we were very busy, which is no problem, of course. Um, but we have some extra capacity we're kind of working our way up to. And then once we have some extra beer, uh, we're going to distribute it. So it can be a how much beer do you have thing. I think like with these guys when they first started, they were starting small and kind of sending, you know, dealing with their home market first, which is Baltimore and Maryland side, and then sending out more when they could. Uh, when they started, they were mostly draft. So you'll, you'd see it bars and restaurants in D.C., but not necessarily on the shelves. Now the cans are much more plentiful, so you're gonna, you'll, you'll notice them more now. So that's a, that's a decision that has to be made. And it's just a decision where you want to go. I mean, Union, I believe, is going to be hopefully heading to Northern Virginia soon, but they're not there yet. Um, so they're, only, they're not distributed there yet, just like Three Stars wasn't in Maryland until recently. Um, so it has to do that. You've got to find a distributor partner that's um, you know, going to do great things for you. Their local distributor is doing uh, great stuff for them now. So I think Union's got the production where it needs to be, the quality's there, of course, and um, they're going to be a major player in the area. And, um, well, thinking about food, what to pair this with? I mean, crabs? Yeah, that's the thing that's so funny. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like, can you imagine what could be, well, the only other thing I'd say is if you didn't want to go the sour way and you were looking for at least a beer from a local um, Baltimore boy, you could go with Stillwater's Cellar Door, which is that beautiful um, sage, uh, kind of saison, wheat saison. But this is, I mean, amazing with steamed blue crabs. Uh, you know, like with wine, they always say if it grows together, it goes together. Uh, cuisines and wines kind of grew up together. It's as if this style of beer was, uh, uh, came from, from the Baltimore Harbor because it is just beautiful with uh, steamed Any crabs. Any seafood, right? Yeah, clams and then awesome. with yeah. butter. I mean, oh, yeah, clams with butter. Uh, just, I, I just think every year I love like, just fish on a grill more and more, so I could just take some, something kind of mild and, and firm like halibut or grouper or red snapper. It would be awesome with this too. Um, so, yeah, tasty beer for sure. Welcome, Union, to D.C. Fabulous. Awesome. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.